Yeah. Brilliant. Thank you for reminding me. Right. So you can see I've been continuing to burnish all the way up to here. And now I'm continuing to put on the gold. I'm going to bring that gold round here. And then I'll double gild that area there for you. OK. Um, so I'm trying to notice any questions that you put on as we go along. So let me just make sure that the, the focus is down here. You see that? So let's uh, take another bit of gold. So I'm going to cut a piece to go in here. Now you see how that sort of pulled down there? That's because I need to put a bit more grease. So just detach that. And before I put the next piece, I'll add a bit of um, grease onto that from my forehead. So cover that with the, the fluid, check that um, not too much, but right up to the edge of the thingy there. And then let's just Tap that down at the edge. And I'm going to pick up a little bit that I had on my uh, pad. And that little corner there, just going to add that little piece in. Tap down, especially where the um, where the gold pieces meet, where that's overlapping, so you don't get any gaps. Because sometimes it seems to dry on the edges, so giving it a little bit of a press on those edges. And just make sure that um, it, it's not going to, to show when you've um, when it's dried. Okay. So now to this bit. And I'll just lift that whole piece. Now I'm going to just put some grease onto my brush from my forehead. Lift this. And then have a little gap there, that's all right. Um, and put this piece down here. So I'm marking where the furthest part is first, and then moving up carefully at that edge. Making sure it's nicely covered. Just let the water pull it off, pause briefly, and then lift it up. Now, somebody's asked a question. 
Um, double gilding means that you cover the, an area. Patching is when you just take where those where there's those little holes. Um, and you can, as it were, double gild a patch. So like I'm going to show you with that other piece. Um, no, I'm just trying to get this little bit of gold. It's not going to play games. So I shall get a, a new piece because I need to, 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 to fill in here. So I'll just take another piece. To the so now I need a piece about that big. So I think if I take this little piece here. this up, put the fluid on, Tip down those edges, and that leaves me a little piece there. Make sure that's covered with the fluid, especially where where the bowl ends. And notice I've sort of put it on so that it's um, got a little, nice little overlap with the gold that's already on there. It's going to lightly tap that down. Um, getting new um, knives, I get mine from Rights of Limb. I like their knives very much. Um, but you can just use an ordinary bread knife, you know, a flat edge bread, bread knife. Just keep it specially for gilding. So I'm going to Um, it is possible, but to be honest with you, it, it's, it's a little dangerous because you're going to put fluid right up to where you've painted and the gold is going to go on to where you've painted and sort of begin to stick to it. So um, it, it's not something I'd recommend until you are very experienced. So I just have this last patch to do. I've got a nice piece of gold here and show you. I'm just going to cut that so it's the right sort of width. Make sure that you move things around so that they're easy for you to um, pick up. So you can keep that um, the tip sort of parallel like this to the to the pad. So lift it. That's going to be just the right size for here. So put on the fluid. I'm 
Let's get a little bit more. Now that's quite a lot on there actually. So I'm just gonna let that dry off a little bit. If there's too much, it can seep through the gold and will discolor it. It'll give a sort of orange feel to it. So I'm just letting that dry for a moment. Um, meanwhile, I can go back, just tap this gold down. Okay, now I can go back to here. Hit flick on like that. Tap down the ends. And you can see um, as it dries, It dries, that'll go flat. Yeah, you should always have a red border. Um, you find that in all icons. It helps to present the image. And one of the explanations I've heard, which I quite like, is that it's a sort of altar. And so you are consecrating it as you would with, um, with blood. So if you read, about Moses, he, he put the blood on the on the corners of the altar and so forth. So this is a similar sort of thing. It's, it's a sort of sacralizing process. Um, so yeah, no, you need to put a, a red border on. Um, yeah, vodka, 70% vodka, 30% dilution, um, even 80% vodka, um, really, if you wish. So you see how now these surfaces are beginning to, to dry. See that's that got that matte finish. And then you can see here where it's, um, where I've been burnishing and where that's finished. Okay, so you can see how the, the drying process takes place. And this last one we put on, you can see still very wet. Now then I've still got a little bit of gold on here, which I'm probably going to use for um, patching. So I'll put that over here. Here for a minute, bring this across. So, So here back to this area here. So just take the cotton wool, gently polish this up. Then return to my burnisher. Now, this area here, you can see where the two meet. I'm trying to get it there so that the light. You can see this little dull patch there. That's where it's a bit damp. So I'm just going to sort of warm it with the cotton wool, which should dry it out a little bit anyway. And notice that's the edge of where we had that. Um, but I'm going to do the double quilting anyway. Now, I don't know, yeah, you can see those little 
pinpricks. So you can see how that comes through the, the little air bubbles. It does sort of damage the, the, the surface there. Yes, I've got a range of, of, of burnishing shapes. There's this one, this one, this one, and this one. This one and this one are quite flat. Um, this one's rounded, um, as, is, as is this one. So I tend to prefer this one. You, you get a feel for them. It's, it's um, how they how they work. Now that's pulling a little bit, so that's not dry enough yet. So let's go back to this area here. Now, one of the things is you look at it and you think, oh well, it doesn't seem bad to me. And just about see, I'm trying to get this light right for you. But if you put that over, you see where the red ball is showing here and the lines there. Now if we put it further down here, you see how there's no, um, really no gaps at all. A little bit on the, the red line there where the incision was made and a couple of little dots just here, but nothing, you see the difference in the, the quality of the covering. So I'm going to put a second patch onto here because that really will improve the quality. Meanwhile, I mustn't forget this area over here. We press that down. This will soon be ready for polishing up the, the cotton wool, but it's still a little damp yet, so. I'm going to go back to this while I've got the while I'm waiting. To move the bit of gold out of the way and take a piece of gold. I'll just breathe into the middle. And I'm going to cut it like that. Pick it up with this. Now, I'm going to, not too much water for the second guild, just a damp brush. And I'm going to, like that, yep. And we'll go to about here. So just give it a, Brush, make sure you've covered it nicely. It will bead a little bit, that's okay. Pop it on. There, I need a little bit more. And I want to take this up to here. Like that, take my cotton wool, press it down. No, if you're going to second guild, I don't bother patching. Um, that's really the point of second gilding, so that it fills all those patches in. Letting that dry. I'm going to use this, a new piece of cotton wool now, because that might have got a little damp onto that one. So I'm using this when I'm going back over here now. Still a little damp. 
places so I'll leave that for a moment if I was to if you look at this patch here you see that's quite dull if I was to continue pressing with the cotton wool it, it would dull the surface and wouldn't get a nice finish at all if you look on the this patch here you can see that's beginning to 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 dry quite nicely And wait until it's it's dry. Can you see a little damp patch there? So I just left that. That was a bit longer. So I'll take my burnisher again. Oh, this is still a bit pulley, so I'll come back to that. Yeah. So one, it's all a question of um, timings, really, making sure that um, making sure that you really become sensitive to the gold, how it's working. Um, don't um, don't rush it, but at the same time, pay attention because you'll get the gold to just the right moment, and that's when you've got to act. If you sort of wander off and think and forget about it, and then come back at the you know five minutes too late, you could end up scratching the surface and that sort of thing. So you've got to be focused on it and give yourself um, the the space mentally and emotionally to be able to to really apply your your all your attention it's really about focus so let me go back to the other camera now because that um, the double guild is, is drying quite nicely the double guild draw um, dries quicker So this patch here, this is the, the double gilded patch. Working it lightly with the cotton wool And then I'm going to come back to my burnisher. And that's coming up very nicely now. Um, you can see the... working it very methodically.
going back at the bit that I started, uh, if I can sh try and get the angle right. As it's dried, it's sort of dulled a little bit, so I can go back over now with the burnisher. Now remember, this is just a single gill down here. even. Just be careful where you that you do make it consistent all the way along. You don't get little patches you've forgotten. Now this is the, the double guild. And if we put that piece of paper over, look at that. Much, much better. There's maybe just that red bit there that might be worth giving an extra little patch to at some point but I'm not worried about that now. So oh we've got some questions. Sorry folks I've not been paying attention. Okay. Yeah, so you can put another layer of bowl on. I'd suggest sanding it first, just to sort of get it as smooth as you can. Then give another another layer of gold, but nice and thin layers, um, and then um, see if that that's looking better. I just love doing this gilding. Gold is just such a wonderful gift of God. Its, it's qualities are really just staggering. Now, I just got a little bit there, which was um, uh, a bit damp and just slightly damp. So it just snicked it. So I warmed it with the cotton wool, which also cleans off and then when I go over with the burnisher, it's not pulling anymore. Okay, so we've got um, sort of nine minutes just to, which should be enough time just to get this completed. And sometimes you need to go over with the burnisher a couple of times. Um, first time you do it, gets a nice sheen, but maybe leaves a few little, little marks. Now I use the thinner bowl for the first layer, the thicker bowl for the first layer, and then the thinner bowl for the top layers. The thicker layer, or the stronger layer really, rather than the thicker, the stronger layer, is just to make sure that it, it really adheres to the um, gesso layer underneath. Now you see that little bit there, there's some little, yeah, there you see those, those little blemish marks here. That's where it's not quite dry enough yet. So I'm just ignoring that and we'll come back to that later. So folks, no uh, session this evening. Um, I will try and get uh, these videos up this afternoon. Could I ask you please, when you read, when you watch them, uh, a video, can you, can you like it? It just helps to um, build up um, the profile of um, my YouTube channel um, in attracting traffic, which is quite useful. So. Please do remember to do that. 
So you see, now I can blend those two together. But, just a bit of a but, this blemish there isn't going to rub out. So um, pressure is fairly light because it's all fairly damp. The drier it is, the more I find you need to put, put more pressure. Um, I'm going to leave it. This is still a bit, a bit damp here. Okay. So I'm going to go back over here. Finishing some of this off. Mike. Hello. Hello. Yep, just finishing the video, Mike. Hello. Is Ian? Hello, Ian. I'm just finishing the session. Oh, sorry. Ah, later. Oh. So, polish this up. Try and get that slightly damp. The point of using the cotton wool is it smooths it, but it also slightly dries out any damp patches. Thanks, Helen. Yeah, gilding is, is really not easy. And I think we get ourselves into a lot of, um, we wind ourselves up. One, because gold is a bit expensive. Um, and secondly, because you need all that equipment and it's not easy to, to master it very quickly. There we are. Okay, the, the, the bowl is the, um, the first layer is the um, uh, stronger mix. You put that on very thinly, one layer, and then the weaker mix, probably about seven layers, but it's weaker in terms of its glue content, but it still has the same thick chocolatey um, feel to it, which is the amount of bowl that you put in. Okay, everybody, does that, now that just uh, time for final questions um, before we, we run out of time on this session. Um, I'm not going to show you embossing in, into, the, um, into the gold because there's not really time on this, um, this course, but that is something that we, you do probably in about a day's time um, using things like these little jewelers uh, taps um, that makes those little round dots and you can make patterns with them um, so i might do that uh, today so when you see it on monday um, it might have a little pattern in it um, but I, i'm not going to demonstrate that um, what else do i need to say no course tomorrow no course this evening resume on Monday. So um, gives you a chance to revise, review some of the videos if you want to. Um, and then we're going to start painting on Monday in egg tempera. Super. All right, everybody. Any, any questions? Otherwise, I wish you a very happy Sunday. 
Have a great weekend and look forward to, to being with you again on Monday. Bye for now and God bless. Thank you. Thank you, folks. Bye for now. Thank you. Thank you.